Biden administration and the EPA have proposed a bill that would remove all lead pipes in the United States water systems. 12 News' Jalen Lamp has more for us on what this bill would entail. The Biden administration and the EPA recently introduced a proposal that would require water systems throughout the United States to replace all of its lead service lines within a 10-year time frame. The lead and copper rule improvements proposal falls into the bipartisan infrastructure law, which would provide $50 billion for lead service line replacement. Although compliance is expected to cost public water systems between $2.1 billion and $3.6 billion annually. If you think of it from a practical aspect, does that just cover the pipe into the home? And then if you have lead pipes in the home, you're still exposed to lead. Does it uh, cover all the way into the home? Uh, how do you detect and make sure you're, you're um, finding all of the lead pipes? So I think lead pipe replacement is something we can all agree on. Currently, 9.2 million lead pipes are servicing homes throughout the United States. Here in West Virginia, it is projected that there are over 20,000 lead service lines throughout the state's entirety. The EPA issues warnings when lead content is above 15 parts per billion. With the lead and copper rule improvements proposal, lead testing levels in water are estimated to test at 10 parts per billion. As of testing performed in Clarksburg on Tyler Street back in April, lead content read at 2,130 parts per billion. You know, you get a, a billion BBs and 15 of them are, are the, the bad BBs, you know, in that whole one liter sample. So that's not a very large quantity. You can have all the lead service lines out of the ground or anywhere, and you're still going to have a lead value in water because of fixtures. To have a zero lead result, that's far-fetched because you're always going to have something. You can learn more about the lead and copper rule improvements proposal on our website, wboy.com. Reporting from Clarksburg, I'm Jalen Lamp with 12 News.